Hello there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back after my one day respite from uh, seven minutes in the morning. My name is Tom Rigsby. Today, we're talking about whether you will make the choice to win or not. Stay tuned. This is Seven Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, Here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Wow, look at that. We've got a group collecting already. Hey, be sure, it's a quick reminder, if you're watching live or watching on the replay, be sure to leave a comment like Jessica has done. Say hi, say good morning, whatever strikes your fancy. Just say something, let me know that you are there, and, and maybe if you need a thought, where you're watching from. I always it's always interesting to me to see all the different locations where people join us in for the show. And uh just took a quick I, I, honestly I started to say I took a quick break yesterday. Honestly, there was no break involved. <laughs> uh it was quite the jam-packed day yesterday and had every intention of getting the show in later in the morning. Just didn't happen. So, sorry about that. Apologize. But hey, here we are. And, well, the topic yesterday was perseverance. So I, I don't know what that means regarding not getting the show in yesterday. But anyway, that was the topic. Today, though, I want to talk about making a choice. All week this week, we've been talking about the the mindset that you have to have in order to win, in order to be successful. You have to choose, and this is... This is the point I want to get across to you today. You have to choose to win. Now, it, it might seem a little um, arrogant or maybe a, like a little bit of hubris to expect to win, right? But if you don't expect to win, I'll come back to that in just a minute, Joe. I do want to ask about that. If you don't expect to win, there, there are, you have an expectation for the day. Right now, you have an expectation for your day. Do you expect to win or do you expect to be beaten up by life circumstances? Because whichever one you expect, that's the one you're going to get. Right? I mean, if, if you don't expect to win, what's the alternative? Expecting for a happy little accident and everything turns out great at the end of the day? I mean, there's this thing, this this um, concept in psychology called a self-fulfilling prophecy. If I believe that something is going to happen, then I begin to act as if it has happened, therefore leading to that thing happening. If you believe you're going to get beaten up over things today, then you start acting like you're being beaten up over things today, which is probably unmotivating, so you don't do all the work you need to do, the best work you could do, and then you get beaten up for not doing the best work you could do, and there you go. That's exactly what happened. But if, on the other hand, you make the choice, you choose to win the day-to-day, and you start acting as though you're winning the day-to-day, nothing on the planet will be able to stop you. Well, okay, maybe, well... I was going to say maybe a meteorite, but that's not on the planet, so I'm still right. (laughs) Nothing will be able to stop you. It's your choice, and you have to choose. And you might even have to choose day after day after day, maybe even hour after hour, maybe even minute after minute. It's our quote of the day that's going up on Instagram in a little bit is from Tony Robbins. It's in our moments of choice that our destiny is determined. Every time you face that that choice, every time you face go left or go right, do my best work, do mediocre work. My best work, do mediocre work. Every time you're faced with that choice, you have the opportunity to define the outcome that you're going to create. So choose wisely. That's our message for today now. Joe, I've got a question for you. Joe has pointed, hey, Bo, good to see you this morning, man. Um... Welcome to Jessica, Abby, Joe, Bo, everybody else who's watching. Um, actually, Joe, I'll hit you. Well, which site has no comments? Joe and I have been having this back and forth discussion. 
I can see some portion of the comments showing up here, but apparently I can't see them all. So I'm trying to figure out which side I can see and which one I can't. I believe I should be able to see the ones on Tom Rigsby, the unashamed nonconformist. But I don't know. We'll figure that out. All right. For the rest of you guys, you have a great Friday. Have a fantastic Friday. If you're not following me on Instagram, be sure and do that at Tom Rigsby so you can see that quote of the day and you can see the story as it develops during the day and over the weekend. And I'll be back here again Monday with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. You guys have a great weekend. Talk to you then.